Good morning, Sean. Wait, your hair's shorter. Did you cut it? Did you cut your hair? Hola, Sean. <laughs> te cortaste el pelo? Te ves muy guapo. Sean, did you cut your hair? Sean, did you cut your hair? Sean, how'd your hair go? Sean, I hate your haircut. Good morning, Sean. It is Saturday, January 19th. Did you buy a comb? Your hair looks drastically different for some reason I cannot possibly determine. Much like this uncooked piece of spaghetti that has a bend in it. I've been saving this for too long. I wanted to show it to you right when I got it, but I ended up not putting it in that video, and then I ended up not putting it in the next video, and the next video, and it's been sitting on the top of my toaster oven for weeks now, and uh, so there it is. Weird, uncooked spaghetti from the box. Now I can throw it away, or put it on display, see how long it lasts. I don't know. Now you may be wondering why I was with so many family members again. Well, it's still Christmas in our family. The members of our family who are 18 years of age or older don't get gifts from everybody anymore. Instead, you buy one gift and put it into a pile, and then you roll dice, and if you roll doubles, you get to pick a gift or steal a gift, and then it just keeps going around in circles until everybody's picked a gift. The rules for the gifts is that there is a male pile and a female pile, and the gift cannot cost more than $30. I, being a very not stereotypical male, was on my way to a sporting goods store when I realized I should probably buy something that I would like to take home in case all the other things are too male. So I ended up at a store called Creative Kitchen, and this is what I got. It's a fruit infusion pitcher. And yes, I am a little bit too excited about this, but I don't care. And I finally managed to bring this home. As if the passage of time wasn't painful enough, now it involves math! It's great for telling the hour in minutes and multiples of five, but what if I want to say it's 7.23? I don't think I'm capable of that kind of calculation. I'm gonna have to call you when it's in the spaces. Glad to hear you're coming back again. Last time you came back, you were gone. You still haven't told the story of your unexpected journey. Are you waiting to hear back from your publisher or something? A lot of red tape to cut through. I don't know why they use red tape. I like duct tape. Or gorilla tape. Or gaffing tape. Gaffing tape I'm probably going to be very good friends with by the end of this semester, and very few people know why. But for now, let's bring back this weird spaghetti, just because I can. It's kind of like chopsticks. Good night, Sean. The Spanish word of the week for today is fruta, which means fruit. Don't hurt yourself trying to remember that one.